A um, couple of things we've got on the screen at the moment. So on the left, I've actually got our shared drive structure. So I'm not going to go in and show you our actual files, but I'm going to show you on the top level. So we've actually just recently done a whole project to, to implement this um, internally. So really quickly, in your Google Drive, you will have a My Drive and you will have shared drives. And it's really, really super important to understand the difference between those two areas because it's crucial in terms of making sure you're protecting the data of the organization. Um, so my drive is for the content that you you create yourself and you're actually the owner of that. So when I say the owner, um, it's your Google account for your organization that actually owns those files. Um, so, you know, there can be instances, whereas you might, I don't know, win Tats Lotto and decide to leave your organization um, and your account may be deleted. And if, you know, appropriate actions not taken, those files can be lost. So I always say to people, it's really important that business critical files aren't stored in your My Drive. And there are a lot of companies that still have really comprehensive folder structures in My Drive. Um, and if that's your organization you're listening now, it's really important to try and start shifting them to shared drives. So what shared drives are is very much the G Suite equivalent of what you'll be used to as a traditional kind of network file system. Okay, so you can see here we've got what 10 or 12 different drives. Each of those have got specific permissions underlying them in terms of who has access, what kind of access they have, and that's where all our content is stored. And really importantly, this content isn't then owned by individual Google accounts, it's actually owned by the domain or the organization. So it's collective data, if that makes sense. So if you've got any, hopefully that's making sense as I go through.